Welcome back everyone to the 2022 Moldex 3D webinar series. My name is Aniko Villani from the Moldex 3D North, North, North America office here in Farmington Hills, Michigan. Just a couple of admin things before we get started. Please keep your microphones muted throughout the entire session to keep the webinar moving along as smoothly as possible. Due to scheduling conflict, this webinar is going to be a pre-recorded webinar. Any questions may be sent through the chat section of Teams, and we will answer all those questions in our Q&A at the end of this session. A survey is going to be sent later today to help us improve our webinar topics and quality of discussion in the future. Fill out that survey to receive a copy of this webinar recording to share with colleagues or review at a later date. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another session of Molex 3D's webinar series. My name is Rikar Valuri, and I'll be your host today. Uh, the topic for today is going to be light weighting and uh, foaming as the focus of today's webinar. The topic or the focus for today is uh, foaming. As uh, all of you know, light weighting is uh, something that has been a focus across industries, especially true for the automotive industry. And uh, there are different types of uh, light weighting that uh, depending on the application, companies are trying to evaluate or study. And uh, like uh, fiber fill materials, composite materials, other manufacturing processes, and foaming is one of them. And that is, what, that is exactly what we're gonna talk about in today's uh, session, is uh, foaming portion in the light weighting series. So when you talk about foaming, foaming uh, as such can be <clears throat> divided into multiple different types. So you have thermoplastic materials or uh, your resin matrix, you have thermoset materials, and depending on the kind of blowing agent you have or the process you have, there are multiple different categories for foaming. So for example, you could have a thermoplastic material uh, uh, combined with a chemical blowing agent right, uh, to cause uh, some sort of a chemical foaming happening. Or you could have a physical foaming process happening, uh, like MUSA. Uh, when you have thermosetting materials, you can have a material like polyurethane that, you know, uh, foaming occurs upon uh, mixing the different components. So we're going to touch upon each of these different aspects of uh, uh, foaming and uh, look into each one, uh, you know, at a high level to see how, what is the process about? What are the challenges that uh, this process faces? And uh, how does simulation help in evaluating that particular foaming process? 